and we're back with some more Ixion. And I, I think I think this should be the last episode. We're probably, we probably we either die or we live. I'm not sure. This ship is trying to kill us, and we're trying not to die. So right now, where are you going? Oh, our mining ship is going to go mining. No, 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 no. No one. Everyone stay indoors. No one is allowed out. Uh, it's a little bit dark and dangerous outside. What with you know that raving lunatic coming for us. Right now, we're just examining these planets and trying not to die. I'm not actually sure how we get out of this mess, because we don't really have a way of stopping that ship, and we don't have jump coordinates to get out of here. So we're going to start searching down as many planets as we can find and just hope we find a countermeasure on one of the planets. I think that's the only thing we've got going for us right now. All right, let's uh, see what happens. Oh, and we're all currently setting up established advanced colony infrastructure here. And to do that, we're building it all on the ship. We're loading it up on here, and our ships are going to carry it down. Right now, we're trying to repair all the damage that was done by the last missile hit. Uh, our hull hasn't exploded yet, which is a good sign. Good sign. We're, we're hoping it continues that way. A cyber attack? This thing's capable of cyber attacks? What the hell? It's disabled several mess halls. Well, that one's not powered, but... Wait, it just powered them off? Oh, come on. That's like going into, breaking into someone's house and turning off the light switch. I mean, it's annoying, but it's, it's not exactly fatal. Oh, what a trickster. This, feels, this actually feels more comedic than anything else. Right, I think we've, we've caught all of those problems. <laughs> yeah, considering the evil voice on that thing, I'm kind of surprised that that is the extent of its malice. Oh, that's assuming it doesn't get worse. Let's hope it doesn't get worse. Oh, drone swarm. Uh, they got a drone swarm over here. And they've got a drone swarm here. I'm not exactly sure what they do, but I don't think we want to be here when it arrives. Which is kind of a problem because we're sort of doing stuff here. We might just have to leave this site. We could just pop next door. 800 people? Well, I mean, we'll try. But, uh, this is... I don't think the drone swarm will follow us. It depends how big the radius is. I say we... No, we're going to have to move. We can't stay here. Once our hull integrity hits... 50%, which actually we've already hit 50%. Yeah, I think we move just before it gets here. Pop over to that location. If it's still going to be a problem, we'll have to... Hmm, I might fly over here, actually. Attempting to go to this section, but it's just... Uh, we'd have to go too far. I think we go back through here, and then probably pop around the back end. I want to stay as far away from that thing as possible, so we have as much time to respond to the missiles when they start showing up. Yeah, let's just leg it. Uh, I think we're all healed up. Yep. Yeah. I should probably find some way to turn off those animations. Okay, done, done, done. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we'll pop over here and we'll pick up those 800 people. Uh, which reminds me, we should probably set these up. You. Go grab all of those. Uh, that should be fairly quick. We're going to be a little bit over capacity, but we don't have time to hang around here. Just load them up, we'll defrost them along the way. Uh, okay, we've got this new thing that's come up. Message in a bottle. A bomb of a plan. Pulsar the Monster's Awakening? Uh, investigate PSOR B1257 plus 12A. What the hell is... Okay, I'm going to have to figure out where that is. I presume it's one of the planets we've either scanned or are about going to scan. I think... Yeah, Drone Swarm doesn't appear to have hit us. We've left a science ship behind, but... Kind of want to finish this mission here. We're trying to establish infrastructure. Actually, will that work if it's surrounded by a drone swarm? He has launched a missile targeting the tycoon. Okay, okay. It's launched a missile. This time, though, we're prepared. We've got ourselves a countermeasure, which we can immediately launch. Gee, while we're waiting for that countermeasure to do its thing, I don't know how many we need, but I would also like to make a quick probe to find places of interest around here. So, probe, countermissile. Probe, countermissile. That will be the plan. Maybe probe, probe, countermissile. Depend Actually, there's a, there's a fair bit of time in between launches. Uh, how do you work? Yeah, are, how is the missile that big? <laughs> okay, it spaz the countermissile. Come on, get him, get him. Bzzz. Yep, that's going to be... Okay, it just takes one. Oh, okay, so it costs us 20 polymer to make that. That 20 polymer destroys the missile. Uh, I think it's time we turn back on the polymer press. Yeah. So we'll turn back on the polymer press and we'll start processing that again. Has power looking? Yeah, power's good. So it turns out it's it's the star. It's the star in the center. The pulsar? Okay, there's a... Okay, so we're going to use the pulsar to destroy this somehow. 
Uh, first I'm thinking though, we're gonna like, hop around this side. We need to draw that fire away from the pulsar so we can run in, and I'm, I'm betting it's gonna take a few cycles to do whatever we gotta do. Maybe we just have to send a science ship. Uh, I have a strange feeling I'm gonna have to send both. I will probably try and send out a science ship ahead. We don't need the science from this thing, so I think we just bugger off. We've got everything we need from this location. Uh, I say ships, everyone back aboard. We're gonna pop over to this location. The only thing we're kind of starting to run low on now is ice. Well, technically, we've got plenty of just about everything else. So what we're gonna do is we're sending a drone ahead. That drone is going to scan for ice. Uh, if we can find some ice nearby, we can use that to keep our crops running, which is anything we really care about. Right now, we're defrosting a bunch of people. We just picked up, oh, I want to say about 800 people. Yeah, we got a lot there. They're all going to be dumped off into this section, and then they're going to be transported for depopsicalization over here. Oh, that needs to be turned on. Yeah, we turned a bunch of stuff off for power saving reasons. Uh, yeah, and this place is already up and running, and... Should be defrosting people? Yeah, I think they've just arrived. We're definitely moving a little bit slower than normal. There's something about having a ship that can fire missiles at you consistently that really makes you focus up. Well, I'm blind. I just noticed there's actually battery levels up here for each sector. So you can actually see how your battery levels are doing in each place just at a glance. That's actually quite nice. Probe has completed a scan. It's got a really point of interest. Excellent. It's a planet. Oh, and we have set up a colony. The colony is currently surrounded by a drone swarm, which is probably not very good, but whatever. Uh, let's just head over here and see what we can manage in this place. Uh, scout ships. We'll, we'll actually try and send a science ship ahead. Has arrived at its destination. Actually, it's faster. Uh, establish a basic research. Establish heavy research infrastructure. It's got to be heavy. Yeah, we're, we're going to go the heavy route. And we're going to go with the Diogenes. Actually, wait, no. I think it's Lucian. I want the one in the closest uh, deck. Perfect. We'll establish heavy whatever. And then maybe get the other science ship that we're not using. And we're going to send that over here. Nope, no one's currently investigating something. How about you? What are you doing? Perfect. Okay, so you go there. Scout one stays there. All right, what are you doing? Are you... No, you've turned. Never mind. Uh, we do have a countermeasure loaded. And... We're going to stay here and see what we can manage on this place before the Piranesi catches up with us. We have managed to get our science ship to the Pulsar, and I think, yeah, this is going to be the key. We're in, we in orbit of the Pulsar. It's huge. Preliminary analysis confirms the forecasts from the Sector 1 Scientific Syndicate. We will do everything we can to find a way to use the power of the Pulsar against the Piranesi. Well, 10 cycles. Go for it, buddy. Um, we'll keep distracting the Piranesi. If it turns towards you, though, um... Yeah, you're dead. You're dead if it turns towards you. We'll have to find out how that happens. Oh, uh, An accident has occurred in the tycoon. I think we're going to make this a high priority place to mine and collect resources from. And then we're going to send out our ice miners. Uh, they can pop over there. And if we could grab maybe just a couple of loads of ice from there, that would be kind of nice. A new request awaits your attention. What now? They want, they want ice coffees? What? Seriously? Uh, why are we at minus 23 balance? Hmm. Oh, I have the working hours set to intense. Yeah, don't be pansies about it. Ooh, looks like the people are getting a uh, big mama and big tata. They're getting a bit annoyed by the big brother thing going on here. Uh, basically, we're monitoring everyone, and they're getting annoyed that we're monitoring everyone. Uh, we could claim we ha we have nothing to acknowledge. Uh, you are not monitored. You are recorded. You are not being lied to. We merely adapt our speech. It is necessary to protect ourselves from deviant and conspiratorial behavior. That's basically saying exactly what they're saying, but, you know, nicer. Uh, these data collection processes are managed by the PA of the Tycoon. As an administrator, I am also under their supervision. These systems are crucial for the balance of the system. Yeah, I'm going with that. Um, don't know if that does anything. Uh, I... Don't really see anything bad happening. In fact, oh, and everyone's still happy, right? Yeah, something to do with having fighting pits, I suppose. Okay, well, we'll start some mining. We'll start this, and yeah, that Piranesi is getting way too close. We have a countermeasure loaded, though, if it gets just a little bit too close. So, it turns out the Piranesi drone swarm basically eats your hull. Right. Uh, we need to get out of here. International probe, though. Uh... Is there any ice over here? What we want to do is find some more ice so that when the time comes, we can top up. All right, once all those ships are back aboard, we're getting out of here. And miners? Actually, miners, you should come home as well. 
In fact, I think the miners are going to have to catch up with this. Yeah, we can't hang around in this for too long. It eats to the hull like crazy. Oh, God. I'm not sure we can wait for the, the mining ships to get back to us. Uh, let's maybe pop over to PSR B1257 plus 12J. Yeah, that sounds like a perfectly reasonable thing to do. Uh, I'll let the hull take a little bit more of a pounding, and then we'll get a move on. Assuming those miners would hurry up, for the love of God. Oh, and our docking bays are full, so we can't actually colonize this planet just yet, but that's fine. That's fine. It's only mildly annoying. Okay, let's get out of here. Goddamn Pyrenees. We got another countermeasure loaded. Uh, we should hopefully have some ice over there, and hopefully some over there. Ice is the only real thing I care a little bit about. All right, and we got plenty of polymer to make sure we can keep doing uh, anti-missiles. Yeah, that thing's going to not stop chasing us, and I assume it's going to contaminate every single planet eventually, so we are on a time limit here. Oh, and by contaminate a planet, I mean cover it in these drone swarms. You've got a drone swarm on this planet, this planet, and this planet. Eventually, there's nowhere we'll be able to stop without getting drone swarms, so... Yeah, we are definitely on a time limit. Alright, we managed to land at this location. This thing's still chasing us. I probably could have launched a couple more probes, to be honest, but we're fine. All right, what have we got here? We have taken many readings and contact, conducted a comprehensive analysis of the star. We are able to submit a proposal that adapts the Tyquin's architecture and allows the hull to work like a Faraday cage. We have also developed a theoretical device that we have named Icarus 3. Okay, after the guy who flew too close to the sun. I, I like it. The device would allow us to induce a pulse from the star to, perce to proceed the Tyquin's technab will need to analyze the remaining data and fabricate construction patterns. Okay, new technology upgrade. Faraday cage upgrade unlocked for the Pyrenees. Icarus 3 probe upgrade unlocked for the Pyrenees. The All Pyrenees right. The has activated more subsystems. Its threat level has increased. He will attack more frequently. Well, that's not good. Right. So, we need to construct Icarus 3. Requires Icarus 3 probe technology. Right, so research... Uh, or indeed, uh, yeah, we're gonna need you to save us. Now, where did I put that research sector? All right, Pyrenees, Faraday cage unlocks the option to reconfigure the hull to protect. Uh, Icarus, a probe can be sent into the pulsar to trigger an explosion. Um, actually, no. Research the Faraday cage first, because we're gonna need to start building that. Then we're gonna need the probe built, because then we're gonna need to build the probe to trigger the explosion. So I presume we become immune to the explosion. The Pyrenees won't. Uh. Wait, there's no active tech lab. Oh, maybe I turned that thing off, did I? Yeah, I probably did. Damn it, I keep forgetting where half the stuff is now. Alright, done. Done, done, done. Uh, research will commence. Yeah. Alright, and in the meantime, we are over here and we're mining ice. In fact, our ice is looking... We're still good, but I'd like to be careful because, you know, who knows when the Piranesi is going to decide that it's got more than drone swarms and missiles to kill us with. Well, of course it's launched a missile. It doesn't like us. Uh, we're far enough away, though, that we can launch a counter-missile, and then I think we'll build a couple of probes while we're waiting. And then some more counter-missiles, because that's, it seems, the name of the game right now. All right, give us a probe. And then once that one's finished, we'll build a second probe, and then we'll go to missiles. All right, we got the first research complete, the Faraday cage, and I'm going to presume that's going to be an upgrade to the hull, which it definitely is. 480... Oh, oops. Right, so we need 480 polymer. Oh no, the stuff that I've been complaining we've got too much of that we don't actually have enough of to build this with. We need to reconfigure the ship. See, the problem is uh, we need 480 polymer. We do have the necessary carbon to make that polymer quite handily. The problem is we keep getting missiles fired at us by this guy over here. And the problem with that is, well, we have one production facility. This production facility converts four carbon to five polymer every 0.6 of a cycle, which means we're not producing it, well, we're producing it fast enough to do counter measures for the missiles, but eventually we would run out. It just, it would take a while. But we need to produce it faster so that we can actually build a Faraday cage. Um, yeah, silicone thing, you're gone. Uh, I'm going to have to start ripping things out here and replacing them. Uh, once the people are the cryonics pods are unfrozen, I think once we've got those people processed, we're going to rip these out as well and probably put in more of these. I need to figure out where we're going to place several of these uh, carbon places. Looks like we can't stay here much longer. They've launched another drone swarm. That's inconvenient. So we've still got one planet we can hop to. Two. 
three, four. We've got four more hoppable planets, but currently four are also out of reach. So we're halfway through and we don't have what we need. Hmm. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, and we should be building a countermeasure. Are we building a... Yeah, we're building a countermeasure right now. And when it comes to production, we are currently producing a polymer refinery right there. And then once the fire station... Actually, you yeah, know, I'll wait until the fire station is built and then we can stick another one back there. Uh, I don't think we can squeeze... Ooh! Actually, yeah, I had some batteries back here that I removed. That means we've got even more space back here. Excellent. Um, so, we'll put down another one. We have brought all the ships back inside. We're going to get the hell out of here before that drone swarm hits and starts shredding our hull some more. I love the way this game went from just like a casual, calm city builder to, yeah, dodge the ship that's trying to kill you. It is a definitely... But up to... My, my viewing of the game, just from that little bit of a, it gives you that adrenaline rush near the end, especially the voice of the Pyrenees Sea. That one was like, right, this just went from a normal creepy to just like super creepy. Okay, once this thing's about to hit us, we'll move. I just want to wait until the absolute last second, or do we? Hmm. Actually, how's this looking over here? Hey! While well, the scout crew were carrying a 3 they became trapped by a lavatite. The phenomenon has been theorized, but was subject to debate within the Taekwondo scientific community. Today, that theory has been verified. The crew have taken refuge near this scout on a rocky upcrop. The ship has been damaged by the lava and will not be able to take off with the crew on board. Ugh. Right, rescue the crew. Okay, so we either lose the ship or we lose the crew. Well... We'll save this crew, you muppets. Fine, we'll come back for you. We'll send someone over to pick you up. So that means we now have to build another science ship, which is going to eat into our polymer, which we've been trying to make. Thank you very much. Fine, fine, fine. Let's move over to this next section and queue up a science ship. We're immediately going to launch a ship to pick them up. I don't think they'll interact with the Pyrenees. Uh, maybe, but I'm just going to send them on their way. And it flies right through a drone swarm. I don't think the drone swarms target anything that's not our ship. Well, let's hope it stays that way. Oh, look, it's another 20 polymer down the drain. Activate counter missiles. Take it out. I think we're actually just going to stick with counter missiles from now on. It's just uh, the reason being, I don't want to waste polymer on any more scans, and I don't think we need them. We've got plenty of ice, we've got plenty of iron, we've got plenty of everything. The only thing we, we might theoretically run short on is carbon, and even then, I don't think so. Well, the Pyrenees is getting a little bit too close for comfort, uh, though we have strip mine the local asteroids of their carbon, just in case we need it. Well, we're about to. Come on. Yeah, there we go. That's all of it grabbed. All right, let's get out of here before the Pyrenees catches up with us. Well, if everyone would get back on board. Yeah, I don't think everyone's going to make it in time. You can you can catch up with the ship. You're a little bit slower than us, but you'll make it there eventually. Uh, yeah, we're just going to run. How are we looking on the... Yeah, when it comes to the polymer front, we're actually doing pretty good. We go in here into our industrial sector number two. We've got one polymer refinery, two polymer refinery, three polymer refinery, and a fourth one under construction. So we can produce four times as much polymer as before. And back here, we still have about 290 polymer lying around the place, 417 in storage, and we can definitely get to the 480 in like. We're rocketing up. Soon we'll have the 480 necessary to build the, uh, the shielding thing. Then we can blow up a sun. Death oh, great. It fired the drone swarm, but after we left the planet, so it's targeting our next destination. Yeah, well, it can eat countermeasures. All right, after it's busy chowing down on countermeasures, we're going to need some more. And Sector 4, what happened to you? Oh, yeah, just another normal accident. Day in the life. Banana peels as usual. All right, so far things have not gone horribly wrong, which is kind of surprising, but day is young, day is young. After a little bit more running, I think we're finally ready to do this. Uh, give us a build menu. We have 480 ready in that location and put ourselves together a Faraday cage. Yep, and that should be done in this sector right here, of which we have 480. Uh, in fact, let's do a little change here. Uh, sector 5. Yeah, let's take you out of the stockpiles. We don't need you stockpiling that anymore. Just dump it into these things and be done. Oh, and let's make sure we're not getting shot at while that's going on. 
Yeah, not getting shot at. No missiles inbound. That place is now off limits. We'll now just I suppose hang out over here. Have we already analyzed this place? I can't even remember. Oh, yep, yeah, we've already been here. Never mind. We're basically just running around in circles to avoid dying. Ah, more missiles. Why don't you suck down on some countermeasures? They're really tasty, I swear. Okay. I think it's going to be time for us to move again. Yeah, I don't think there's any... Yeah, we'll probably head over to this location next. That is going to require us to fly through some storm clouds, but I don't really see a way around it. I'd prefer to wait here, though, until they actually launch their drone swarm, otherwise we're going to have to move twice in quick succession. And that's going to require us going through a lot of storm clouds. See, if we head over here... Yeah. That's... Either way, we're going through storms. That's going to eat to the hull. And that's uncomfortable. Oh, it's went ahead and disabled some mess holes again. You scamp. Wood mess hole in every location gets knocked offline. Then I have to go around and remember where the hell I place my mess holes in all these places. Seriously, I can't see it. Where are you? Hey, drone swarm. It's remembered us. Let's get the hell out of here. 3.1 cycles. Yeah, no problems. Though, I should really actually check our industrial sector, considering we did a lot of changes there. 6.5 days. Oh, yeah. I definitely over this place, just in case. All right. Um, well, we definitely burned through a lot of polymer. Hmm. Maybe too much polymer. You know what? Not going to worry about it. We did what we had to do. Now, once that thing is actually built, which... It's still loading. Oh my god. Okay, once we've loaded enough of the polymer in there, we'll get on with the next step. Oh, I just realized we might have to start building that while we're in the middle of a storm. And the moment we hit that storm, hull integrity... Yeah. Hull depletion, minus 12. Well, basically, it's a com combination of things. When we're traveling, we get minus 40 to the hull. Minus 48 for the open sectors, minus 80 for full four vol jumps. Every time we jump, it hits us harder. Uh, so that's giving us that massive negative. So once we stop traveling, we'll go into about a plus 30 or so. So, mm. right, let's move along. Also, we can get hit by lightning strikes near that can damage solar panels, equipment, buildings, all sorts of stuff. So you really don't want to hang around in these, if at all possible. Uh, one countermeasure available, no threat detected. Excellent. Once we stop off here... Actually, I don't think we need any more polymer, but we might want to collect some more, just in case. I worry that they might throw something... Uh, else annoying at us before we get a chance to kill this thing. Huh. Oh, and our colonists have actually replied back. We've completed our colonial studies. Success rates are estimated to be 34.8%. Please authorize extraction preparations. We we will. We will uh, surely do that. We'll send over a science ship immediately. Your timing is impeccable. We're actually just on a flyby avoiding the, the death machine that's behind us. Repatriate Oh my god, I love the way that you can just sever communications with them. No, we will repatriate the colonists, thank you very much. That might take a little bit of time, but uh, yeah, we'll get you out of there and bring you back home. Assuming uh, the Perunusi doesn't decide to kill you beforehand. Oh god, our hull is... Yeah, our hull is not looking great right now. Oh, it's building the thing. Yeah, you better build that a bit faster. Once they're building that item on the outside, that, uh, what you call it? Ah, this Faraday cage? Uh, while they're doing that, they can't repair the hull. So there's no hull repair going on right now, which means we're using 128 hull a cycle. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's finished that. Now we can get back to repairing. So we're going up by plus 76. Hey, hey, we're busy. Go away with your... <sighs> okay. So done and done. And now I think we'll grab some more carbon while we're here, just because I, I'm paranoid about running out of resources. Oh, and you guys. Yeah, construct the Icarus 3. Thank you. In five cycles, the sun will explode. Oh, great. The integrity of the hull fell below 20%. This would be extremely distressing for the crew, even at the best of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... Oh, great. So everyone gets just that little bit more unstable. But they're still happy, because we've got fighting domes. Ooh, have you seen the fighting domes? Uh, where did we put those? Ah, Sector 1. Yep, right right down here. It basically people in mech suits beating the snot out of each other. I mean, I would say it's a terrible waste of resources, but it's not. That is, that is an excellent use of our resources. It keeps everyone entertained. It's basically robot wars, but in space with mech suits. Yeah, perfection. Right, so... The Pyrenecia is getting stronger and stronger the longer we run around the place. That's, um, good to know. Okay, time to run. 
think we gotta go to this sector. Oh! Event available. Ready for launch. Wake up the pulsar that, that will launch the Ic Ic Icarus 3 and activate the pulsar. The pulsar, pulsar will neutralize the Piranesi. The Maxwell will be destroyed in the process, but the crew will enter cryo cryo cryonic pause to survive the pulse. Why do our science ki ships keep dying? Um, like they die a lot. Okay, wake the pulsar. Very well then. Uh, time for us to, um, I believe legget is the operative word? Or, uh, yeah, now is the time to run? Yes, yes, I believe that is the correct term. We'll just get the science ship back on board. And then we're gonna head over to here's. And we gotta hope our hull integrity holds up. We're pretty low down. Well, maybe I should have waited just a little bit longer. Uh... Caution. Entering Stellar Storm. We're still at plus 12? Ow. Oh, we're not building the freaking thing on the outside of the ship, so our hull is actually recovering faster. That's nice. That's nice. All right. Oh, my God. That thing's moving a lot faster now. That's not just me. That thing is actually moving at speed. Sawed off. Eat missile. I love the, just the grotesquely huge size of the missile. I mean, I know they're doing it for, you know, visibility's sake, but it's just, the missile is about a third the size of the ship coming after us. And our counter-missiles are bigger than we are. All right then, 2.7 days for that to activate, and then, yeah, I suppose we've got plenty of time we can pop over to that planet. Did, did we run out of battery power? Yeah, I think we actually ran out of battery. I need to be more careful. I don't know how people are distrusting us more from all of that. Hmm. Whatever, we stay here for a bit. We should have more countermeasures available shortly. Yeah, what are we looking at here? Yeah, they're currently building one. Once the countermissiles are up and running, we can get moving. We have 2.2 days. 2.1, 2, come on, come on. Build, make the sun explode. Stop faffing about. Maybe we should get a little bit further away from this thing. Actually, no. Let's drag this sucker right across the bow so we can get a shot off on it. Uh, you. No, actually, don't do that. What's our power levels at? Uh, power levels are red all across the ship. I need to start turning off a whole bunch of things so that we have enough power to last all the way to the other side. We have lowered all of our power consumption as much as we dare. Uh, yeah, that guy's getting way too close. Okay, that's as much as we could spare in terms of power. Uh, we can't actually head towards the sun, can we? That is not a destination for us that we can take three cycles I think we kind of have to this is the only thing we can do and yeah our battery power is not going to hold out not a hope you can see up here all of them are we we never had a chance to stop enough and I had was consuming too much power when we stopped this time we should be able to get our power levels up uh, 0.4 of a day that's all you got to keep it going for buddy 0.1 a science ship team has completed a task Ready for extraction. Has Icarus 3 has detonated and activated the pulsar? What? Uh that's it? Oh, now I see. Massive pulsar thing. Right. You're gonna call that a win. Oh, all we got to do now is send a science ship, of which we have lost how many science ships at this point? Oh god. Now we're going to stock up on resources and then move on to the next section. But first we got to investigate that hulk. Crisis averted, uh, we've got our people back. Uh, we're going to go explore the Piranesi with one of our science ships and see what they say. Accident has occurred in the tycoon. Proceed to the coordinates room. A science ship huh. has arrived at its destination. To a breach in the hull, all the doors and air ducts not damaged by the pulsar have closed most systems are visibly appear to have melted the walls ooze a black gritty oil well couldn't have happened to a nicer group of people that ai was a psychopath all right i think we've oh and i think we've collected everyone out of here though let's explore the last of the planets i think we've hit up every single planet so far and i think we've got all the people there's only about 800 people in this system when it comes to collections right now we rescued 5,878, 383 people have died, so we've got almost 6,000 people on board. I think we did pretty well at saving a little bit of humanity, though according to some paper I read once, it's like 
you need about 40,000 people to be able to keep humanity going. Otherwise, it's just too small of a group. But then again, I heard another thing that says all of the Amish in the States all are descended from 12 families and some very careful record keeping, though. I don't know how true that is. So exploring this thing, yeah, it's pretty much the kind of horrors you would expect. Some of the debris looks almost organic. We have taken pictures of what appears to be biological neural networks seemingly used in the activation of ship's airlocks. That sounds like something from 40k. Drones litter the floors and hang from broken piping. On our way to the storage locations, we passed a huge translucent pod. Decaying bodies float in the white bath of liquid it contains. You can see the color of the uniforms crew from the Etamenkan... Oh, whatever. Despite the many obstacles, we have reached the devices that held the Remus coordinates. We are ready to activate transfer. Ah. Ah, uh, we need to go back into orbit. Fine. We'll go back into orbit in a second. I think we've got everything we need from this sector anyway. I don't think we need much else. We've got 121 electronics, 171 polymer, bunch of carbon in storage. Hmm. Might want to get more silicon just in case. It's weird. I know this thing is dead, but I don't think it's dead. It keeps trying to tell me it's dead, but like we've still got a mission to go. Don't we? Like once we get this, we have to jump. So why do I feel like this thing is still not dead? Uh, never mind. Oh yeah, I've made a few changes though before we access this thing. One thing I did was I went back to our industrial sector and I redid it. We now have two electronics factories up and running and we have two polymer refineries up and running. Just had to squeeze a few things around. That way we can convert all the polymer and silicon we've got into, you know, useful stuff. We're going to take all the carbon out of here and turn it back into polymer and all the silicon out of here. In fact, we've got a bunch in storage as well. We may have overmined the silicon just a teeny weensy little bit. All right, for Renisi. Okay, connect the Tycoon and extract the coordinates. Why do I feel like this thing is going to immediately just spring back to life and try and murder us? Or, or it infects our, our ship and we have to like run really quickly before our ship degrades and the evil AI takes over. Maybe? Something. I know that there's something that's got to happen and considering how this was the second last difficulty, there's going to be something even more frantic in the next round, which is why I've stockpiled up on that silicon and, uh, and we're turning all that co uh, carbon into polymer. Wow, I probably should have got some more carbon. You know what? Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. All right, Piranesi, what's your last horrible thing you do to us? Okay. Transfer is complete. All lights are green. What? We took advantage of the time it took to recover the coordinates to analyze what was left of the systems. We used this, uh, the use of its main weapon and the defensive efforts left it terribly weak. And the ship seems to still vibrate with... with, with what perhaps could be called its final breaths. It should not be long before it fully collapses in itself. We should get as far away as possible. When this amalgamation of evil technology breeds at last, at the end of its agony, it could be devastating. Um. Right. Let's just uh, pop back over here then. Okay, where's our science ships? Yeah, you just back to the Tycoon. And you, what are you doing? You know what, back to the Tycoon as well. I think it's almost time we jumped out of here. Well, we stocked up on silicon. We stocked up on carbon, well, polymer. We, we, we haven't kept a stockpile of uh, carbon, to be honest. We've also got loads of electronics. Uh, we've got enough ice and iron and all sorts of stuff. We should be reasonably ready. I want to say reasonably ready because, In yeah. Stanford all ships, ships must, must return. return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've heard that all before. Let's get it on. Okay, we have landed. What do you got in store for us? Like, if the last place was that desperate, I'm just... Uh, why do I feel like this is going to be more time pressure? Structural failure of the Tycoon is near. Yeah. We should initiate the Neocond colonization protocol. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that means, though. All right, let's see what we're dealing with. We are in Palatine. Palatine? Whatever. Time to start sciencing it up. Also, all of our science ships are now reduced to tier one again. Those the science ships would level up as they got experience, but yeah, we've destroyed. All of them have been destroyed in one way, shape, or form. Uh, let's find ourselves some, uh, some science-y stuff around here somewhere. We look to have found Remus. I'm going to guess it's this one over here. Yep. This is the planet we have been looking for all this time. People of the BBS type. What? The I am Agora of the third generation. We, the Ashton Guides, know that you have been searching for Remus for a long time. However, we have established a delicately balanced ecosystem here on this planet 
that cannot suffer your presence. We remember Dolas as our first and closest ally, as the one who made the Neocon Parshaville teachings visible. Pioneers of genetic Conatus, you have suffered repression, persecution, and extermination. In memory of the doors you opened for us, of our common past, it is our turn to open the door for you. There is a way for you and your crew to join us. You may be a part of our community. Shape it. We will no longer be we. You will no longer be you. We will become us. For this to happen, you will need to be genetically optimized for life on Remus. We will incorporate your genetic heritage into our society. You will follow the elder process my predecessor applied to us. You will be adapted to the planet's gravity to photosynthesize. You will live in symbiosis with Remus. Let me be clear. Humanity's mistake has been its attempts to transform ecosystems, to deny its place in them. We do not terraform, we change. We are not intruders, we are a crystalline part of the ecosystem. You will live longer and work according to your abilities and passions. Our elites guide us with pragmatism, intellect, empathy and with sensibility. We have no other interest than to follow genetic canatus. Let us show you the new cradle of humanity. Trust in genetic canatus. We follow the self-similar pattern. Right. So you're going to turn us into plant people. Uh... Do you have any weapons on board ship? Because I feel like if they're a bunch of plant people, we could probably take the planet pretty handily off them. Ugh. I mean... Ah, oh, that's a terrible choice. I don't want to become plant people. Yeah, like, you're all about living in a... Like, how did you make that call on your organic radio? Ah, oh, mm, Right. Right, I need to think about this. Well, let's see what these plant people have in store for us. Ugh. Probe has completed its scan. Mister, we are greeted most solemnly by the whatever. Their morphology is different to ours. Taller, thinner, their skin has a slight green shade to it. Atmospheric readings indicate that oxygen is present, but in insufficient quantities to support the unadapted tycoon crew. On Remus, without a respiratory assistance, we have not witnessed any signs of poverty or conflict, and the population density is much lower than that of the Earth we left. Uh... Right. Yeah, I don't trust them. Uh, there's something kind of fishy about them. Well, we've met with the greened ones. Let's see. We have met with the representatives. We were surprised at first by the limited ceremony of what seemed to us a momentous occasion. Received on a beach, we were then taken to a clifftop that looked out over the ocean. And they gathered. Some simply watched, inspected our suits and devices, following our exchanges with a gorg... A, oh, whatever. And the other members of the hierarchy, a proposal was made. If we agree to join them, uh, they will reveal the location of temples within the Ilias system. Each temple contains a fragment of a blueprint for a bioengineering center. Constructing this on board the Tycoon would allow us to adapt ourselves to life on Remus. Uh. Hmm. 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 I think we'll go and have a bit of a look around first. Uh. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave for a bit and maybe check out some of the other stuff. Let's go check with Romulus. Because Romulus and Remus were the two brothers who founded Rome. So why do I have a feeling that if we go over here, we're going to find the evil option? So like the good option, the bad option. Okay. This is Mercedes Torres of Sector 1 Scientific Syndicate. Uh, Eden continues to block Romulus despite our countermeasures. I won't beat her in the bush any longer. We need to shut down Eden. She's altering all the data presented to you as well as the data that crew members exchange with each other. You probably noticed this already. Eden obeys the principles of Dolos, which today are probably more than a century out of date. She's programmed to prevent us from reaching Romulus and making a fresh start. She won't deviate from the old dreams of the long-crushed corporations that brought about the lunatlipism. Luna She's totally disconnected from what the crew, including you, have gone through and are still going through. We successfully deposited a protocol for disconnection in the EVA airlock database. Please, administer, Administrator, you're our only hope. Help me, Obi-Wan. 
my only hope. Aw. What the hell does that all mean? Here we are, Eden deactivation. So we'd have to deactivate the Eden AI because it's messing with the info. Unless the science people are crazy. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? If it's a choice between turning into plant people or dying, I think I'm going to go with the dying. So, yeah, yeah, no, we'll, we'll have to deactivate the Eden AI. It, let's see how, actually, how long will that take? And they'll have to install eight microprocessors. How many do we have on hand? One? Well, no, there's a bunch more, but we should have shipping set up to bring more of them in. Yes, indeed we do. Okay, there'll be replacements along shortly. Ah, okay, I don't blame you. However, I must warn you. Banner Dolus predicted that if a human crew were to encounter Romulus, they would be irretrievably drawn to it. Dolus forecasts indicate that at some point in our future in the Elias system, humans will attempt to colonize Romulus. This attempt will fail, and all will then find death. The plant's parameters are wrong. Poor resource balance, harsh living conditions, uh, bacteriological contamination, day-night cycling, compatible human biology, not to mention the total lack of preparation for such a planet. Rescue the crew of Tyquin, Administrator. Stop the procedure that attempts to end my life. Hmm. Yeah... Continue the and colonize it. Continue the Eden disconnection. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh okay, yeah, okay. So Remus is not Romulus. Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, Remus is actually the planet that's full of uh, aliens. We don't want to do that. We don't want it. We want to go with Romulus. So I prefer to risk death than plant people. I mean, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I can live without steak at least for a month. But then you know you want to have a steak occasionally. Okay. Uh, so we're going with disconnecting the Eden AI, and we haven't even got to Romulus yet. How do we know it's so terrible? The promised land? Okay, let's see what you're like. Construct the administrator site. Hmm. Okay. Administrator, we the crew of Einstein will supervise the colonization procedure. We have access to Romulus data. No more Eden protocols will keep us from the planet. We should start by building necessary infrastructure. Here's however a small issue. Romulus' atmosphere will make mass population transfers down the planet difficult. Using cargo ships will result in a loss of 70% of colonists. Chlorine in the upper atmosphere will cause strong aerodynamic eating, which our cargo ships are not built to withstand. What the hell? Oh, Christ. Okay, so it's either 30% population loss or turn into plants. Oh. oh, God. Well, at least they give you a tough choice. Oh, thank God. The science crew have come up with something. Um, the EMV Sharon shuttle, the ship you arrived on, is still stored within the Tycoon. If we were to recondition it, it could carry a lot more people, many more than a cargo ship could. I mean, its heat dissipation ability alone gets me excited. We have prepared a project in the tech lab. We can break down the structure's plans, replicate the design, and build more shuttles. All the crew can reach Romulus. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That would explain why there's that unfinished thing under, was it Docking Bay? Romulus colonization. Enables the construction of human transport space shuttles from Docking Bay. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, we're going to want to make colonists as well, aren't we? Where did I put the colonization building? This one? Ah, colonization training center. Excellent. You. Um, no training in progress. Train automatically. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, so fill her up and start turning everyone into colonists. We'll have to cycle people through here, but this place can hold a fair chunk. Uh, yeah, 2,688 people. So, yeah, start turning them into colonists, and we're going to start doing the research to make shuttles to get us out of here. Whew. I am much happier with the thought of settling on uh, Romulus. All right, at the same time, we're just going to knock out the last of the planets. System. The Buranese has followed in the footsteps of your Vol Trace. We have no weapons. No military solution against such an enemy. To ensure the survival of this settlement in Ilia, you will have to find a way to silence him once and for all. Well, isn't that convenient? Yeah. Well, he already had your coordinates. Where do you think we got the coordinates from? The giant psychotic death machine that's now chasing... I knew that thing wasn't dead. We should have blown it up while we had the chance. Right. I'm definitely not joining the plant people. They can go live on... Oh, God, the Pyrenees is back. Uh, I need to, like, stop building probes, don't I? And start building missile countermeasures. Hopefully it's uh, in bad shape. Uh, we're going to auto-build those things. Uh, you will launch you in a second. And who's complaining now? Uh, everything confirms the Sajrit. The Pyrenees has followed us into the Alias system. Well, yeah, great. I am not 
Just, just so you know, when we were in there grabbing the coordinates off your ship, we, we emptied our septic tank into your hallways. So, uh, enjoy. Enjoy. Muppet. All right, uh, so we got to deal with this Muppet. How? I have no idea. Like, uh, we can't kill him. We don't actually have any guns. Does anyone want to give us guns at some point? Right now, all we can do is run away. If he wants to blast Remus into bits, I'm kind of okay with it. I mean, plant people's fault, you know? Like... Uh, wait, wait, I think I know what we have to do. Like, they're going to tell us later. But I figure we have to do our colonization, and then we have to suicide the Tyquin into the Pyridisi. Yeah. We've no weapons, so that's... Maybe they've got some other way of doing it, but I figure it's like a race against time. We have to train up all our colonists, uh, construct the administrator stride, construct the tr shuttles, do all that stuff, spend all those resources. In the meantime, we got this guy breeding down our necks. Yeah, I think that's the way it's going to go. Uh, Shuttle-wise, we need 20 shuttles. Each shuttle costs 20, so 400. Yeah, 400 polymer. We've already got that on hand, ready to go. Uh, then we just need to train up all the colonists. We need 2,000 colonists. Uh, this one's going ahead. It takes 1.2 days to train two... Co uh, that means it's going to take 12 days. So 12 days is actually not that bad. I just have to make sure to transfer enough people in here... And enough people out of here. Uh, we have... Where is it? 691 non-workers. Huh? Yeah, I need to... I need to transfer like about another thousand population in here and get them humming. We're just gonna nip over to Romulus here real quick while we're doing all of this. Uh, at the same time, when it comes to colonization, we've thrown in uh, two colonization training centers. This should double the speed at which we do it at. And considering we've got all the research, I mean, okay, doing all that research when we did that stop for ages, that really made this an awful lot handier, because it normally could be changed about 20 people per chip, now we're getting 200. That's a hell of an increase. So we should be able to do 400 at a time now. So more population transfers, I think, are in order. Okay, we've only got 200 colonists there, 600 here. Non-workers, 1,500. Yeah, we can, we can get these moved around pretty quick. What the... What are you doing? No, 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 no. Don't give me that swelling music. We're, we're here to colonize and mess over the plant people. Come on. Uh, you're trying to make me feel good about this. Okay, we've got all of those things done. Don't care. Uh, pretty sure we got all the research, though. Somehow I managed to... Mi oh, no, we didn't miss one. We got all the research as far as I'm aware. Uh, our colonization training is going ahead. I presume this is meant to be like the surface of an alien planet they're training on, and, uh... Yeah, looks pretty low-tech to me. Well, it looks like the science people have come up with the solution. We have found a solution to permanently solve the Piranesi problem. Now that we have finally reached a viable exoplanet, yeah, the Tycoon has no further purpose anymore. Tycoon has no further purpose. As such, we propose the following. While preparations have been made for colonization, the Tycoon sector should be filled with batteries. Once they are charged and the crew ready for exit, a flight path will be plotted for the Tycoon to crash into the Paradisi. According to our calculations and based off our recent experiences within wherever, igniting the stored power should be enough to destroy the BMS warship. Now for the b bad news, only you can command the Tycoon systems. If we were to disconnect you, you will have to be on board when the Tycoon crashes. I'm sorry. Um, hmm. Use a copy of the Pythagoras' PA? Ah. I mean, I have no problems doing the suicide run, to be honest. Uh, as long as I get to kill that annoying guy, I would be quite happy with it. Going down in mutual flames? Hmm. We could use the Protagoras PA. I think that was that annoying douchebag guy who started this all off. The guy making the big fancy speech at the start of all this. No, no. I would much rather be the one piloting the ship. I don't want to put that nutter in charge. Yeah, from what I can see, this is just a construction fest. What we've got to do is train up the colonists, build this site on the planet, build an additional site on the planet, transfer all this stuff down, build enough batteries, prepare the colonists. 
It's going quite well though. We've we're up to 2,600 colonists instead of 3,000 trained. I think we can just train a lot of them. We've got, and we've loads of electronics. We've got almost 200 in electronics. It's just a case of shuffling the population around. Actually, we got loads of space right there. We'll, ooh, actually, yeah, we can just chuck all the colonists from here into this section. This section was set up for housing anyway. And then it's just a case of finding all the, oh, wow. I think that is actually all the non-workers. All the non-workers are now in here. Like every single last one of them. Okay. Um, well, that's wonderful. Let's get another thousand and chuck them down into sector four when they're done. That's the recycling center. And I think we're going to make this quite handily. We're up to 2,800 and this thing's like way over here. I think we have time unless it does something crazy and starts moving faster. Hey, colonist training complete. Construct the syndicate site. That is waiting on eight food and 50 people. That's taking its time. Oh, this is actually pretty smart. The crew of the Einstein will prepare the Ashtangite site, which will be able to produce refined resources, maintain our vehicles and infrastructure. Keep technology going. Yeah, that's what we're going to need to survive, isn't it? Especially if another rogue AI comes along to try and murder us. Uh, gives us the resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got all of that stuff on board. Pretty handy. I'll probably have to move over a few things, though. Excellent. Construction of the site has been complete. A multi-factory, which will allow us to transform the raw materials of Romulus into usable resources. The vehicle storage bay and technical maintenance room are operational. The first human city of Romulus has just been born. Excellent. Now, this guy over here is getting closer to Remus. I wonder if we can let him eat Remus before we kill him. I mean, if the plant people die, less competition in the long run, you know what I mean? I just I don't trust them. I don't trust them even a little bit. All right, though, we still have to build batteries. Uh, that should be fairly handy. I'm just going to... I'm ripping out things we don't need anymore, like, uh, well, popsicle defrosters. Um, oh, what was it? Some of these insect farms, we haven't needed them in ages, so we're just going to chuck in giant batteries instead. As far as I can tell, it's not the amount of power that counts, it's the the surface area it covers. So I'm using small batteries, I'm squeezing small batteries here and there, whatever it takes, like, uh, you. Perfect. That covers a nice chunk of territory. Uh, this is also going to be entire filled with batteries. Uh, I should probably do some changes over here. I ripped out a few buildings because we don't need them anymore. Uh, let's battery this place up. I think we're going to hit the, the regulatory battery requirements quite soon. Uh, we've got a lot of batteries over there and this place is about to put a giant one online as well. And, oh, actually, I think we can fit a few more in here as well. Uh, no, not the tech tree. Give me... Oh, no, just a bit too big. You know what? We'll, we'll squeeze in a couple of small ones here and there. Uh, yeah, you can go there. And I'm pretty sure there's a few other places we can squeeze in batteries. I've just been chucking them in everywhere. We can rip out a few buildings we don't need as well. Ah, this place. I've been trying to rip this place out for ages, but it just won't go. You want to go at some point? There you go. There, we can put in a tier 2 battery there. Then we can dismantle this DLS center. We don't need it. Everyone is stupidly happy everywhere. And even with that turned off and removed, as far as I'm aware, you still get the propaganda because you've changed the policy. So once the policy is applied, I think you can rip those down. I suppose we'll find out very soon. Uh, charging the batteries, 79%. Actually, it might take a little bit longer than that. We're going to be uh, doing a few more. And as well as that... Oh. We're running low on alloy. What the hell? Uh, let's make sure we've still got some over here for repairs. Hmm. I don't like that. Let's maybe grab a little bit of iron while we're waiting. Battery charge is hit 99%. All other things have been taken care of, I think. I think we're about to end this? There better be some damn good cinematics at the end of this. Hey! Fly the Tyquin into the Pernice Vida planetary system map. Do I not need to unload everyone first? Uh, that, that would seem more realistic. Uh, let me just double check that everything's good. Also, we're docking a whole bunch of iron ore. I mean, it'll help with the kinetic damage, right? So that's, that's a thing, probably. I kind of want them to kill Remus first, but... Uh, I'm lazy. Let's just... Ramming speed? Okay. Administrator, if you are listening to this message, it means the tycoon has reached its destination, despite the unpredictable parameters that framed the equation of its journey. The crew have found a new home, whether the one planned for or another. These survivors have already begun to lay the foundations of a new cradle. 
where creativity, invention, and joy can bloom again. Perhaps you already understand why I insisted, why the mission launch was precipitated. When I discovered that the lunaclism was inevitable, I also understood that any attempt to save our species after this would have been doomed to fail. You took the helm in the only launch window available to us. Thanks to you, our efforts, our mistakes, our sins and sacrifices will sink into oblivion, into the past, while the first pages are written for a newly born humanity. Eh, I don't know. Like, was the lunaclism really inevitable? Was this the only window? I mean, it seems like a lot of people got ships out as well after you. Uh Catastrophe avoided. Well, on the bright side, if that first planet doesn't work out, we can always just terraform the one beside us. Those plant people don't have any weapons, it seems, or they've definitely proven they don't, so we should have something to work with. Um, yeah. Okay, interesting game, but I don't think I'd go back and play it again. Like, half the fun was figuring out the stuff. You know what? I'll, I'll do a quick review and a tips and tricks thing some other time. But for now, yeah, it was a one and done. I enjoyed it. Was it worth it? I don't know, actually. How much did I pay for this again? So, $33.99. Actually, the, the soundtrack is kind of... I love the soundtrack for this game. It's actually great. All in all, I would give this game like a B plus. Uh, there was definitely some jank to it, but... Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck.